Hello and welcome to the 6th Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 tutorial. To, right now I'm going to I'm going to just simply show you how you can change the appearance of your form. It's it's not no coding involved, it's just how to how to make it look better and if you'd like to change anything. So, let's just call our project customized form I'm gonna click OK. Okay, if you click Form 1 here, you notice on the right properties box should come up. If it doesn't then you you need to go to the window or whatever it is, view and then properties and then it should come up or right click here and click properties. And if you still can't get it up just leave a comment and I'll help you. Anyway, if we start at the top here we have name you, you don't really need to change the name that's going to change the name of the class and stuff so you don't really need to change that you don't really need to know about any of this at the moment but if we get to here background color here we can change the background color of the form so let's try and change it to red and it'll go to red it doesn't look very nice but you know we can change it to snow you know, you can change it to whatever you want, or you can e have a background image. Just click here and click local import and select your image, and then you can tile it or you can stretch it, whatever you like. And if you go down to font, that doesn't really matter right now with the actual form. You you'd use that more for labels and stuff. So if you go down here to form border style, there's several different options you can choose. You can choose none which will set no border at all. You can change it to fixed single which is this one. Fixed 3D which isn't much different but you know fixed dialog. We can change it to sizable which will allow the user to use this to size the form when it's open and we can change it to which is my favorite one the fixed tool window looks more professional we're going to leave it as that for now or you can change it to fixed tool or sizable tool window sorry and then they can move it around now here we have the icon you can just select the icon if you have any dot ICO files and that will appear this will actually appear in the corner and on the taskbar but it won't be the actual icon of the program I'll show you to do that in a further tutorial and we'll also have this the text which is the text up here so you can change this to my application and then right here you'll have the text to my application we can also make it be minimized or maximized on load we'll set it to maximize just for fun let's click play see how that looks and there we go there it is maximized with fixed tool window and my application text and just a close box so that was just a short tutorial on how you can customize your actual form you can also do it for any tool like if you have a button you can click on properties here you can select the flat style I like to use flat it looks better in my opinion you can change the size, you can make your image for the background, you can change the text, you can basically do anything. It's, that's the beauty of Microsoft Visual Basic, it's visual so you, you can just design it however you want. So that was just a short tutorial on how you can customize everything so we get that out of the way early before I start getting questions about it. So if you if you have any questions about this then please leave a comment. If you have any suggestions about my my tutorials then please leave a comment. And if you have a request for a, a specific tutorial then just leave a comment too. So just rate the video, subscribe for more tutorials and that's it.